Hi, my name's Lee Pond and welcome to Trout with Lee. This is part six of workshop fly fishing. Now we're here today at Chigborough Fisheries, two lakes in Malden, Essex. And we're here today to show you a few different retrieves. Now being a trout fisherman, of course, you all know how to retrieve a fly, that goes without saying. But there's a few variations on the theme that you can use. I've enlisted the help of Tim Joyce, the resident coach here on the water. He's already out there fishing. Let's go and try and find him. Self useful. Make yourself useful. Come on. Might as well be useful for something. Don't knock it off, will you? <laughs> Would I do that to you, Tim? Would I do that to you? Go oh, wow, nice fish. Lovely looking fish. Great in this clear water. Isn't it? It's just so clear, isn't it? It's crystal. You see everything with these fish. You can see every single leaf and stone on the oh, bottom nice. there. Well, oh, it's just chilly though. Yeah, proper winter's morning. We're into Certainly December, is. aren't we? Come on, Tim, you'd have had that in by now 10 years ago. I'm getting old, Way, mate. Well go. done. Nice one. Lovely job. Oh, lovely little fish, that. Nice little fish, that. Let's see if we can get you cut. Gorgeous. I think the hook's come out in the net, mate. Is that already? Yep, yeah, barbless. The barbless fantastic. Back she goes. Don't use anything else, do you, nowadays, really? No, there's no need for using nah. anything else. Well done, mate. Nicely done. Well, lovely to Good see you. See you too. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, as I walked in, there's obviously lots of different retrieves and every fly angler knows how to retrieve a fly. Goes without saying. But there's lots of different variations of it. Um, I mean, there's, I don't know, you know, you've got, as, you, as you're doing there, demonstrating there, classic um, figure of eight retrieve. Probably used by most anglers on these small waters, Tim. Yeah, I, I agree there. Um, most of the, uh, the, the food items in these lakes uh, that the trout are feeding on uh, have very little mobility. They don't do anything. So quite often all you want to do is stay in touch with the fly. You don't actually want to move the fly as such. You just want to stay in touch with the fly. And this figure of eight retrieve yeah. just lends itself to that. Fly. I mean, like that fish you caught when we first yeah. walked up on the bunk. Obviously that was static. Yeah, static as you could get it. I was just keeping up with the fly as it came yeah. back towards yeah. me in the wind. That's all there was to it. Yeah. Um, no erratic movements. You're not looking to make the fish chase. Yeah. You're just staying in touch and keeping the depth of the fly. If you took your hand off the line, that's as static as you can get. Yeah. But the fly is always sinking, as you know. So yeah. you just start with that nice little figure of eight retrieve. What, what I see when I go to a lot of these fisheries is that people just don't change the retrieve. No. You know, you'll, you'll get there and they're like, just pulling it back, pulling it back, or figure of eight, and they never seem to change it. No. You being a competition angler, you know, you know that you've got to find something that works on the day. Oh, you've got to be prepared to mix it up without exactly. a doubt. Some yeah. days they're absolutely nailed onto one retrieve. They want to the fly in one particular position at one particular speed. Yeah. But quite often, yeah. especially under a bit of pressure, these fish want it changed up. So it's worth every retrieve. Try a quick one, try a slow one, try a static one, try an erratic one, try a smooth one. And you do that from just changing what you do at this Until you find rig. something that works. Exactly that. And then it's repetition, repetition, yeah. repetition. Once you've got it, once you've got it working, you're getting a pattern going. That's right. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. So that's your classic figure of eight retrieve. That is. Yeah, Good man. Just pop that back out there again. Don't get me, Tim. You'll Don't be get all right. me. Ooh, you're probably going to catch one now. Don't catch a fish, whatever <laughs> you do. I thought that was the idea of this. <laughs> So that's your figure of eight retrieve. It's just simply a pinch and a roll of the hand, as you yep. know. It's a pinch and a roll. There's no big wrist movement there. You're always, that line's always coming over the top of the right hand when you're retrieving, because that's your control. Yep. Whatever you do, as you know, that's your control. If you're not holding on to that, you've got nothing to control that line as it gets taken. So it's just that simple pinch and a roll of the hand, 
It's a nice steady retrieve without any breaks in it at all. The fly's not bopping around, it's not pulling, it's not pulsing. You're just staying in touch with that. And of course you can speed it up, as you know, it works just as well. Exactly that. When you're fishing it really quickly, quite often the days we've been out and together and we fished it yep. really, really quickly. But there's no breaks in that retrieve, it's coming back steady, steady, steady. The before, next retrieve, of course. Well, before we get onto that, to just explain to the, the guys that, I mean, obviously, the majority of people that we're doing here, is this is more aimed at the beginners rather yeah, than the, absolutely. Um, the you know, yeah. or improvers, let's say that. But once you bring in that, that fly's actually come closer into the bank, the most important thing to do? Hang them. Exactly. Hang them, hang them. Fish every available inch of that water. Where you've got depth of water in front of you yep. and you can't see the fly, fish every inch of that water there. Yeah. Where we just started off there, a classic little spot up there, you've got uh, a pontoon heading out and it's just on the edge of the drop off. Now the feature yeah. on every small water, as you and I both know, are the drop offs. Yeah. It's, that is the feature in these lakes, especially this time of year when you've got no weed beds holding food. It's the drop off that the fish hug. So by fishing that fly all the way back and then hanging that fly underneath the rod tip. So as that comes back up again, we haven't yep. got depth of water here, but we no. can show it. So by fishing that all the way back there, you get to that sort of position there and then you just slowly, slowly, slowly lift that line up about halfway up. So that leader's about halfway up and just hang it, just hold it. And it's that change of angle. They yeah. love that change of angle coming up and then that fly yeah. just hovering and it's killer. You just stay at it. Count one, two, three, and off on the rod, and just go, boom, 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 and, you go on, and you've got a fish. It's, and, and you know how effective that is on a boat. Absolutely. I mean, yes, that's, yeah, you know, yeah, you, so. that's the golden rule. You hang the flies every time on a boat, don't you? Yeah. And there's some days when that's the only way you're going to get them. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but no, it's true. No, absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. That's, that's a nice way to cast, get Tim. Thanks, it wasn't my first time. Not like you. <laughs> what are you using there? You got a seven weight? Just a seven weight, ten foot so it's uh, uh, a ten foot seven weight, uh, it's the Witchwood T2. Nice, user friendly, yeah. um, medium action rod, perfect for this sort of uh, and line setup. Uh, again to match just to pair up, seven weight line, weight rocket. forward, rocket floater. Nice line that. Cracking line goes out. I've been like using it though, you got me one the other day. I think all us lads are on it. We're now. all on them now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I used to be a snobby man, but yeah, I've, you've, you've certainly got me. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. going to say hooked on. Hey. <laughs> all the bad jokes anyway, are coming out. Go on. Right, next retrieve. Which what one do you want to do? Do you want to put it the pulling retrieve? Go on. So, this is the one that most people start off with. This is the easy yeah. retrieve. Most people, when they come into fly fishing, this is the one they do. A lot because you're using lures and a lot because it's very easy to do. Again, line under that control hand there, and it's just a simple pulling of the line. And what this gives you at the other end here is this pulse, pulse, pulse. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. You can use it very slowly, a small little pulsing big long licks depending on what you want that fly to do at the other end there. depending on what the trout are doing the mood of the depending trout depending on the mood of the trout as well i mean well. this time of year you know they're going to be fairly sluggish i guess because of the cold water they're starting to but at the same time they're hungry as well because there's not a lot of yeah, available food enough, yeah. so they're moving quick to get to any food that might appear mm. and you know how inquisitive these fish are so this <laughs> does really does lend itself to the winter time on these small waters. You get that fly moving and pulsing, loads of glitz, loads of fuss about yeah. the fly. They can't help Lots themselves. of movement in that, that marabou tail. Exactly that. Yeah. Uh, where it also comes in handy as well, this, this pulling or the, the pull as such, it's great. For, oh. Little dab chick just come up there. Oh, it's great for it. depth control. Yeah. Floating line. Yeah. Always going to be on the surface. Quite often you're using flies that are sinking. If you think that fly has gone out of the depth, a nice long pull here brings the fly back up into the path of the floating line. So it's yep. good for depth control. There's loads of uses for it, but it is definitely the easiest retrieve. We should also say with all these retrieves, when you're retrieving, rod placement, straight down towards the water. Yeah. About six inches off the water is yeah. ideal. Pointing dead straight down your fly line mm. at all times with all these retrieves. You don't want a big bow in your line. You don't want an angle for the tip of the rod. So it's dead straight dead straight down the end of your fly line and you're in touch with that fly all the time. Yeah, I see so many people when they're doing this type of retrieve, they've got the rod off the water there and, and you see a missed fish all the time. You'll see, you'll just not in people. contact with you, them. You've done it many times, you'll go, look, oh, I just had a pull there. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen it many times. Told you not you'll, to catch a fish. You'll go and chat to people and you'll say, how's the fishing going? And they'll say, I'm not catching anything. And as you're chatting, you're watching this big, big end of the fly line, this big amount of line, it's doing this. And there's fish after fish after fish taking that fly and they're not noticing. Not By popping it. that down there, you take that slack out of it there mm. and you're in touch with it. As soon as it goes, boom. 
Yes, yeah. again, safely, Perfect. safely boat fishing, isn't it? Nicely explained, mate, nicely explained. Okay, let's go on to something. Uh, Roll with poly. Something a little bit uh, different, probably one of my favourite retrieves, I would this say. Your favourite retrieve. This is this is Lee Pond's number one retrieve, <laughs> and and it's a brilliant retrieve. Yeah. And you and I know how great this retrieve is. It's like a stepped up, jumped up figure of eight, isn't it? Pretty much. It's a, that retrieve with no brakes in it. But you can do it at speed, you can do it faster. Trolling off the bank, basically. Trolling off the bank, <laughs> it's what it really it. is. It's yeah. also a great retrieve at this time of year when your hands get too cold to get out <laughs> do the figure of Well, eight. I'm all right, I've got the yeah, gloves got on. Nice big gloves I'm making on. you do I'm, the, I'm doing uh, the work cold stuff. Today. I'm doing the work today. So, the, the roly poly, this rod goes underneath your armpit, still pointing down towards the water. You've got two free yeah. hands now, okay? And it's just, we call it the roly poly or the monkey climb. And it's just a nice, steady retrieve. You can do that very. I know you love to do it like this. this I'm quite. This, sl I yeah, like to do it slow. Yeah. Steady yeah. Little, yeah. Slow I mean, I, I even fish my nymphs in this this, this yeah, way I know. sometimes. Yeah, I fish them in Not all the time, but I'm surprised you don't fish dries like this, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> you would have been good. But it's a great retrieve. You can speed it right up. Yeah. You can slow it right down. But again. At this sort of speed, it's made for the lures a lot, isn't it? It is, really. And it's yeah. made for those days where they don't want the lure doing this. They just want it nice and steady, a, steady, steady. Just an steady, absolute steady retrieve, it. yeah. Um, continuous retrieve, continuous basically, retrieve, isn't it? That's exactly yeah. it. But, I mean, that's why trolling used to be so effective. And it maintains depth as because, well. Because, yeah, you, you, yeah. you, you put, stick some flies out the back of a boat, and that's why it's banned. It's because you stick them out the back of the boat, the boat's just, just, just moving slowly, and you always catch fish. Predators like to track, the, 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 especially the trout, they like to track their fly. And if the fly's moving at a nice steady rate, yeah. they can come up behind it and they can judge the speed before they make the attack of it. Yeah. If that fly's doing this, it's very difficult for them to track in and actually judge the speed of the fly. So mm. this is often a better retrieve. Um, and yeah. it's worth saying as well, as you know, when you get a take on this, you must carry on roly poly yeah. yeah. Just carry yeah. on running yeah. until yeah. the line goes tight. You've got to wait for that fish to turn away from you and that hook to turn in the mouth to hook it. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have a little go in a minute and we'll hook one doing this. Yeah. Well, hopefully. As long as Tim well, performs I'll do it. to I'll the do cameras. It. Can't, can't rely on you. No. But we'll do one and we'll just demonstrate that. Um, just the roly poly retrieve, yeah. Yeah, just steady away. It's a nice steady retrieve. Yeah. And when you get that light, get the take there, Good. you've got a roly poly into it. Oh, you have. I have. <laughs> I have. Oh. Well, so we you just carried on pulling just there. Carry when you on rolling that fish. pulling until that fish just Got turned yep. and the hook's set on it. Oh dear, it. You better get a landing. Oh, good thinking. Go on, Gilly, go and get the landing in <laughs> for me. Come on. I'll do all the donkey Come work on. as usual. The other retrieve that I used to find really quite useful, um, especially on the small ones, is like a cat and mouse type thing. Because as you said earlier, trout love a chase. Yep. Absolutely, 100%. So speed it up, slow it down. Yeah, speed it up, yeah. slow it down. Yeah, bit of, bit of figure of eight and a couple of quick pulls. That's the one. Stop it right That's slow. That's it. And then quite nice often they'll pull. take on that, that, that slow. As soon as it stops or, or slows up. the very first pull. Yeah, exactly. Pull, the fish yeah, is there. Yeah, He's yeah, been yeah. following it for ages. But that, that can work really, really yeah. well on some 100%, days. 100%. 100%. Again, it's that, that same yeah. thing as we were just talking about, is just finding something that works on the day. Well, as you and I know that you go through this routine when you come down yeah, to a lake exactly, for the first yeah. time. Apart from depth, the next thing to work out is yeah. that retrieve. That's probably the most important, would you say? Depth, the depth? is 100% the most important thing in fly fishing, to find yeah. that depth, that taking depth. And we found that this morning by a quick bit of playing around there. But yeah, um, yeah it, it, after you've found that depth, the all-important depth is getting that retrieve right. Mm. And you just go for the motions, figure of eight slow, figure of eight quickly, mix it up, pull it, roll it, one of those is going to work. If it doesn't work, move somewhere else. There's no fish yeah. there. <laughs> it's sometimes as simple as that. The other one we could demonstrate, but it's the one that we used to use when you couldn't do the uh, roly-poly in competitions, is that continuous pull. Now, I use that sometimes, oh, even... I use the long licks. The I long use those, licks. those big, long licks. You haven't got enough line out to do. <laughs> no, no, got I love to use those big, long licks. That's when the you're one, Big, yeah. long... 
that can be deadly. It can. That can be yeah. deadly. Because it's something very different. You don't see a lot of people doing no, that. No, more so probably in boat fishing and competition yeah. fishing, I guess. <laughs> but not so much on you the small You know when you've been doing that, your knuckles are cracked on the engine all day <laughs> long when you've been doing that in a boat. But yeah, I suppose that's, that's about covered most of those retrieves there. Mm. But yeah, variety. Mix it up. Try all these different retrieves each time. Yeah. Um, something's going to work. Thanks for joining us again today here at Chigpa Fisheries. And big thanks to Tim Joyce. Um, Tim's been great today and you've showed us some really good retrieves there. I really enjoyed that. Hope you've taken something from it. And please don't forget to leave your messages down there. We do read them and we do try to reply to everyone individually. And please don't forget to subscribe. Push that button down there for us. See you again soon. Tight lines for now and stay safe. Thank you.